Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Uh, this is a special video, something that I've always wanted to talk about, honestly, and I felt like today was the day. Now, a lot of my longtime viewers, subscribers, this is something like a Foul Friday. And number one, before we get kicking at it here, I'm gonna bring back the Foul Fridays, but a little differently. I'm gonna go through some of the best hunts and the worst hunts this last season, and I'm gonna describe them to you. We're gonna watch them, and throughout the whole video, I'm gonna give you my two cents. Like, this is why that didn't work. That's why that worked. I did this. You guys didn't get to see it on a lot of videos. What I did, what worked, what I changed, and that's what I wanna do with these videos. So if you like that I did, drop a comment down below and let your boy know. Number two, I got another pheasant hunt coming out. You all seen the first one. If you didn't, it was the last video to go up. We have part two coming y'all's way next video, so don't miss that. Now, if you missed episode one, go back and watch it, because your boy absolutely raped the pheasant quail and chucker boy. And last but not least, check out them ducks shoes. Oh boy. I will link the duck shoes down at the top of the description below guys. Uh, they're still in stock. Get them while they last. Use code Bob at checkout at duckswaterfowl.com to save you some jack on literally everything over there. But we're gonna go in the lodge. Oh, but no, this uh, title of this video might look depressing or sad. I know, guys, that is not what we're doing over here. Uh, we're keeping it fresh, we're keeping it positive, but I wanna share with uh, all you guys and all of you that care, and especially all of you that have been here to the lodge, uh, you'll get the picture on what I'm talking about here. Now, all of the clients, all of you that have been here, uh, welcome back, even though you're not here right now, and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, first of all, we are booking here at Sand Hill Flyways. Uh, this is a destination that I have built uh, for y'all to come experience the hunting here in central Kansas with myself. So that's number one. Let's get that out of the way. If you're looking to book, uh, the sandhillflyways.com website is always linked down below. All you got to do is fill out the booking form. It literally takes one second and uh, your boy will be getting a hold of you. <sighs> yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, me neither. This place is usually... Hustling, bustling, partying, having fun, loud, people snoring on the couches behind me after a long morning hunt. And that's what I'm getting at, guys. It is, uh, I get a lot of questions from y'all down in the comments and, and on uh, through, through Instagram DMs uh, per se that, that is like, Bob, what do you do in your off season? Well, if you guys have been here long enough, we do some pigeon trapping. Uh, we do some unseen videos from uh, from the season that y'all haven't seen. Those will be coming out, you know, all summer, spring and summer. And then uh, we keep up with the YouTube channel, no matter what what it might be. Uh, I think we're seven years running here, so uh, got to keep up with the channel. That is number one. Number two, uh, I'm booking clients all summer long, getting it full, the lodge that is, to hunt November 1 through February. So four months, right? That's all I get. Four months out of a 12 month period. So those other eight months, that's what this story is all about. Um, it is a blessing what I've made my career in my life. And um, a lot of you can imagine how much I do adore it and love it. But at the same time, like when that's just your only job, right? When the summer comes, it can, get, it can get a little depressing, I'm not gonna lie. You know, Bob loves being busy. Bob loves getting up at 4 a.m. with a goal, with a mission, with other folks here that wanna experience what I and, and we provide, Bert's cooking and everything. And, and when that goes away, y'all, I just want you to know, I love my fishing. I love my turkey hunting. I love my dove hunting. I love my pigeon hunting, which those will be coming, you know. But there's nothing I love more in my career than having folks right here providing. A lot of days are 16 hour days for me, 14 hour days pretty easily. So uh, feeling exhausted, uh, that is, that's kind of my way of feeling um, achieved. I've achieved what I needed to that day. And uh, I started getting back in the gym, you know, now needing to get rid of that energy and uh, get focused a little more and, and get, get that energy worked down. So, you know, I, I do some things during the summer to keep me busy as far as other financial freedoms, but um, this is my main baby. And, and when this goes away, 
it's like your whole world kind of turns upside down, right? It's like if I don't plan the day before like what I'm going to do tomorrow, those days can be really slow and really just feels like you're stuck in the mud, you know. So you go from a huge output to just being on the phone with y'all and, and booking you on the calendar, which I adore. That, that's something that I love. But uh, boy, it doesn't take long after sleeping in a few times here to realize, man, that's what I'm made to do. That's what I was born to do is to get up early in the a.m., watch the sun come up with, uh, with new friends and uh, experience things that a lot of other folks don't get to experience for four months straight, right? So I miss it a lot, if you can't tell. So um, there'll be some changes next year. I'm hoping P. Diddy will still be around filming. Uh, he won't be here as much. So um, if you guys have any recommend recommendations for folks around me that might just want to operate a camera and edit, let me know. Hit me up down in the comment section, or you can DM me on Instagram if you are located here and you have skills with cameras and uh, in editing. But uh, that's another story. I, I don't want to. I don't want to try to be a fortune teller. Preston's getting married. Y'all know P did. He getting married, and he he becoming a man, right? He'll laugh if he watches this. But uh, he's got things to do in his own life. So. Um, with that being said, I don't want it to be a downer to the channel. I want it to be a change uh, that is a positive change, right? So we can look down on it and, man, my, I'm not going to have my press in anymore. And it sucks. But um, everything happens for a reason. And I'm a true believer in that. And uh, before I go on to the next subject, number one, guys, I want to say thank you. And, and I don't care how big the channel is right now or how active it is. It's very slow right now. It always is coming out of hunting season. Everybody's looking towards fishing, and we'll be doing some of that. But this is a hunting channel, a, a wing shooting channel, and and um, right now the the views do get low, but I don't let that you know bother me. I know they'll be coming back up, and you just gotta yeah you, you gotta have faith um, in the process. Create your own process and have faith. A lot of folks ask me, Bob, how did you do it, or how do I do it? And guys, build your own process and have faith in it. Have faith in it and work your tail off, number one. Back in the day, I always told y'all, I don't know, probably what, five years ago, I always told you guys and myself and my wife, babe, guys, folks, Bob, I'll never guide because I don't want it to ruin my hobby. Well, quickly, I just had a conversation which I'll try to throw in some footage right here. I went to my little boy, Bodie, his class, and spoke to the entire kindergarten class in the entire school. And one thing, the main subject was turning your hobby into a job and how cool that is, right? I will be honest with you guys, and this is not a pity party. Again, this is, this is a positive video to help any of you out there realize um, I'm human. Um, I make mistakes, I still do. Uh, but building your life into something that you want is more important than anyone judging you whatsoever. And I want you guys to remember that. Something that I struggle to remember sometimes. Um, building the life you want. If you build the life that you want, guess what? You're going to get judged. 100%. 100%. Uh, weak folks love to see strong men fall. And that is a quote that I heard not too long ago, and it's extremely true. So don't ever get discouraged. Um, stay true to yourself and your goals and your people. Hold your word. I don't know where I'm going with all this, but uh, that was some of the conversation in that kindergarten class. And I left there just so refreshed. And, and there was, you know, a handful of kids in Bodie's class that were subscribed, and, and they hunt with their dads. And it just gave me a whole new outlook the, the last couple of days. And, and it's something that I want to share with you all. If you guys weren't here if you guys didn't like what i did if y'all just judged me all the time all of you there are some right but if y'all did it i wouldn't be here i think so number one the positive folks out there number one thank you for always remaining positive that is a pat on your back pat yourself on the back for that if you can't say that about yourself that you're not positive you need to work on it you need to work on it because we're all human out here. 
This might be a little vent sesh too. I don't know. Now, back to the original subject. For some of you, the videos, just me, myself, and the camera, and a gun, and, and Fred, or Judge, these are the videos that you're gonna love all summer, whether it's pigeon hunting, doing random stuff. I do have, I've been waiting to announce this, I do have a massive surprise coming. And it's a huge deal for me. And it's, it's basically, I'm not, I can't spill the beans completely, but basically, it's something you use while hunting any bird, right? Kind of. That's really cool. I've done it in the past and y'all have loved it probably two or four times, but I'm getting my own one or five or 10 of these things and y'all are going to love it. That's all I can say. When you see it, you're going to know what I'm talking about. And it ain't too far away. It's not too far away. I should be receiving these in the mail any freaking day. And when I do, we're going to go find us a pigeon hunt and we're going to use them for turkey. So that's all I can say. Honestly, y'all, if anything, this video is meant to be inspirational for y'all because this right here is one of, um, one of the things that I'm extremely proud of. All these folks, these are groups of people. These aren't individuals. These are groups of folks over the last three years that have came here to central Kansas and hunted with me and the boys. This right here is a massive achievement and something that I'll never take for granted. I never thought that this would happen with the YouTube channel. When I started the guide service, people were like, oh, Bob, you're a YouTube channel. You're not gonna get people to pay as much money as it's gonna cost for them to come. And I'm like, man, I really think that, I think I gotta try it. And uh, here we are going into our fourth season uh, guiding. And uh, here's the, <laughs> dude, this proves it, right? Be proud of yourself, be proud of your accomplishments and never forget what you have accomplished. This is what keeps us going. When I come in here and look at this board, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And then everything that people have sent is amazing. So thank you all again from the bottom of my heart. I know, I know, I'm getting salty on y'all. I'm getting soft, but just like this room, people sitting here at night in the morning, gabbing, cleaning their guns together right here building new friendships, building new relationships. I am telling you, this room has created a ton of new friendships. And it's always fun, man. Bert's cooking out there all the time. And uh, we'll open up these windows, which they're locked right now. Let me see, I'm probably just gonna make a fool out of myself. Yeah, definitely gonna make a fool out of myself. Come on, come on, baby. So, yeah, so we open these windows. And the parties always happen out there, but you can kind of hear what's going on. You can come in here, join the crowd, go back out there. It is a party every single time. And that's the thing that I think I love most about Sand Hill and what I've built is the camaraderie in this lodge and in the field is by far top tier. Um, having y'all come from YouTube is an absolute blessing because y'all know me and I don't know you. And um, the trust that I have in y'all being my subscribers, my followers, it's huge. It's, it's like, you're not just a random person coming. So that's what's awesome to me. And the numbers have proved it. Um, over, I would say 50% of clientele the last three years are father sons. That is special, y'all. But this is just something I wanted to share with y'all. Um, it's really not easy coming off a of hunting season and trying to be normal. And, and you got all this go, go, go juice in you. and nothing to do with it you know what i mean so it's time to start looking at other things you know summer's coming lots of lots of lawn work to do and just some other um things that i've never done before and, and hopefully this new thing that i'm talking about y'all be on the lookout hopefully it expands the channel where it needs to go especially this off season and this something is something we can use all waterfowl season long you know the clients can use it a lot of clients probably have never used one before y'all probably know where i'm going with this by now but it's just good to get this off my chest and tell y'all because uh, one of the main questions that i always get um, especially from y'all on these videos during hunting season especially i would say and then during summer but would be bob do you still love doing it okay and i think the question is do, bob do you still love doing it refers to the video side uh, guys that's why Preston has been here during 
guide season is to take this darn thing out of my hands, off of my head, and film me doing my job so I can be working the dog, uh, making sure the clients are safe, providing the best experience for the clients, providing the best hunt for the clients, changing the spread, lots of lots of labor. So um, again, these videos where I'm manning the camera, um, I'm shooting my gun, just me and a dog. We got a lot of training to do with Judge this summer with pigeon hunts. So that's gonna be probably top priority once pigeon hunting starts popping off. But it just feels good getting it off my chest and let you guys know that um, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy not doing what you've created, right? It's not easy not doing every single day. It's not about the money. It really isn't. It's just about being busy and fulfilling yourself and expending yourself, being tired at the end of the day, exhausted, so tired, in fact, that you can't help but fall asleep on the couch. That's what I miss, right? So I'm doing everything I can to, to stay healthy, uh, build some muscle, you know, this summer, do what's good for me so we can be back at it stronger than ever come this coming November. I have not been on a healthy routine lifting six to seven days a week like I am right now. I'm probably on my third week, if not right out of month. I feel great. It's been a long time since I've put myself on this workout regimen and I should have done it in the off season long, long, lots of years ago, because it feels amazing. So if you guys are looking for something during this off season when hunting's gone, guys, get in the gym, do it for yourself, do it for your woman. There's nothing more special to your wife and your kids and your loved ones than coming home to seeing daddy put on some games, feeling good about himself, um, and just trying to do better for yourself. So that's my goal this summer. But again, thank you guys for being here. Y'all mean the absolute world to me. If you're interested in booking a hunt, doesn't matter where you're from, you can fly in. Uh, the airport's only 40 minutes away, highway all the way to the lodge. So drive, fly, minimum of people, two. Two up to 20, right? But I would say if you guys are interested, you gotta get on the ball uh, because we are booking up pretty quick. There is a lot of availability left, but I wouldn't put it off. Sandhillflyaways.com is always linked in the description every single video. So you just fill out the booking form and I'll be getting a hold of you. Please, serious inquires only y'all. Please, th please and thank you. But if you haven't already, drop a comment down below on the other things I asked about. Please go down there guys, it takes two seconds. First of all, smash that thumbs up every single video. It helps me so much. Seems like folks don't wanna do that as much lately and I get it. But I want y'all, before we get off of here, drop me a comment, tell me what you guys wanna see now. Is it the Foul Fridays? Is it me explaining hunts, giving you the tips on every single hunt, whether it was good or bad? Let me know. I have some surprises, more than not, so channel's not going anywhere we're just growing thank you all for being here if it wasn't for you guys i would not exist have a good one